So I don't know what the mayor is thinking. Uh, I mean, Mr. Richards, did you advise the mayor before he sent out this letter? I did not uh, talk to the letter. I did not talk to the mayor before the first letter was sent out. I Thank was not you. aware that the letter had been sent out. I, 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 I was aware that the second letter was going to go out. And you agree with this, that our request for information or documents or reports must go through the mayor's office? In general, yes, that is correct. An investigation does not mean day-to-day -day business of the city. If you read the charter provision, it goes on to say that the type of communication you're talking about in general goes through the mayor's office. No. The investigation is not the day-to-day -day operation, the kind of questions <clears throat> about an item on the list of bills that you want to have answered. Well, Mr. Richards, it says, I can't direct any department head in their job. I accept that. I can't go to a department head and say, create a report for me. That would have to be by a motion of this body. As we made the motion regarding the property maintenance employees, give us a report. That kind of report, definitely, if I want something created, it has to come from council to the mayor, to the director, to the specific um, department. But if there is a report already created and I ask for that report, I should not have to FOIA it. So FOIA, Freedom of Information Request. It should be provided to me. And I should not be screened by the mayor. It's none of his business what I'm looking for. I mean, this is restrictive. It is censorship. Um, I, I don't believe that Mr. Sadowski knew that the mayor was putting him into that position when this letter came out. I was surprised when I got your taxes. I, I, I could tell that when you called and said, why are you asking me? I mean, that memo said, put your request in writing to the secretary who will give it to the chief of staff, who will get it to the mayor. Is that a way to do business? Is that the ray of, a, of, of <clears throat> sunshine that Mr. Fouts always talked about? Is this an open door policy? I don't think so. And I, I am just incensed that this, that, that we're not being provided the information or that someone is trying to restrict us from getting information that is critical in some instances to how we conduct our business. I mean, I know, Mr. Liss, that you uh, tried to get some information and you were shut down. That's all I've got to say. I am I'm very upset. Thank you. Um, if, if I may, I'd like to add to this, and I'm glad that you clarified, because um, first of all, I, I totally understand what you're talking about in that incensement because I experienced the same thing under Mayor Steenberg. Um, you know, no more talking to department heads and, and things like that. Um, the one part that I think was most beneficial to this clarification letter is where the mayor outlines substantial requests for information should go through my office. And I really think that this is where the, the difference uh, lies. And, and even up until the tail end of your comments, I wasn't sure that we were on the same side of the issue because no council member, individual council member, can go into a department head and say, I want you to run me a report on the uh, number of hours that, say, every DPW worker worked without it being handled first by a formal motion of this body. Um, now, if it's simply a case of, you know, someone, um, you know, there's already an existing, say, the D D Downtown Development Authority's uh, plan that was adopted in previous time. Um, by all means, you have the right to go before a department head and request that information because it's already available and you should not be subject to FOIAs such as uh, we have been in the past. So I, I agree with you there, but I, I think what this, the clarification was needed 
but I think the intent was strictly the fact so that um, I don't know what has been experienced with some of the new council members or whatever that may have taken place and the fact that realizing that even though you may be conducting a informal investigation of your own, um, which certainly you have the right to ask questions and things like that, that you do not have the authority to go in and tell a department head that they have to put together any kind of a package or correlate information for you to an extensive amount. And I think, as he clarified here, that he was strictly looking that, look, if you're looking for a really large project and you don't take it to the council body, um, first of all, that that's questionable as to whether it would be responded to at that point. And, and that if it is that large of an investigation or something that's going to be beyond the department head's normal day-to-day -day operations, that it should be gone, uh, handled through the mayor's office first because you know these people have a regular nine-to-five job, not just stopping to, to meet our needs so that we're not uh, delaying their work production. But uh, that's my opinion on it. If anybody else cares to comment, this is a discussion item, and then we'll move on to audience participation. Mr. Liss. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, when I got this letter, I was also... Uh, I, I, be nice I was beyond uh, disappointed uh, this body passed a unanimous motion uh, a couple meetings ago to uh, ask the mayor and the other uh, elected uh, executive department heads or executives the mayor the treasurer and the clerk to report to the council and let us know uh, of their personnel changes there have been a lot of personal changes in the city. Uh, frankly, if a resident calls me, sometimes I don't have a clue whom to call because I don't know who's in that position now. And so this, this city council, this body did it the right way. Uh, we passed that resolution. It was passed on in the mayor's office. Well, I didn't hear anything about the response back from the mayor's office as to the personnel. I hadn't heard from the other departments. So I called personnel. Would you please give me a, a report or let me know what's going on with the personnel? That's, it's gone to the mayor's office and I haven't heard anything. I was told that I wasn't going to get the information. I could FOIA the information. I could file a Freedom of Information Act request and get that information. And I know some of the employees don't know who I am. And that was kind of funny. It kind of puts you in your place when you call and they say, who? But that's okay. I explained to them I'm a councilman and I'm acting on this resolution that the council passed. Would you please give me this information? No. Not unless the uh, mayor approves it. So I can understand the mayor uh, saying that, uh, you know, for substantial requests we may have to go through him, at least to coordin coordinate it, but we did it here. Right. And I was told no. And uh, so, okay, uh, put up or shut up. Uh, I appreciate the fact that the uh, mayor sent out a second letter and uh, pretty much completely reversing the first part, the first letter. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to look at this as a, uh, a hiccup. Uh, he's told me personally that uh, he's going to have an open door administration, and I appreciate that. I think that's how city governments need to be run, totally transparent. And uh, I'm going to look forward to seeing this uh, report from the mayor's office as to the uh, changes uh, that he's put in place for personnel. Soon.